Okay, well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to Life on Turkey Lane. Um, today, I am going to be working some more on the pantry. I'm hoping by time I post, well, I may post this particular section before I get the whole thing finished. Um, we're about to wrap it up, but as I mentioned in my last video, we had to do some um, family things for the last couple weeks that, that took me away from the camera. But I am back home now and able to do um, what I need to get done. And so, as I mentioned before, I'm going to try using this uh, Rust-Oleum Never Wet Multi-Surface. Um, it's uh, frosted glass. Um, to redo the pantry doors. Remember, I tried to use the contact paper. My contact paper was messed up. And then um, when I got the duck or 3M brand duck contact paper clear, it was too clear. You couldn't actually see it on the window. So I had this. I've had it for a few years now. I got it from Dollar Tree. They had a whole bunch of these. And I probably should have bought more than one, but I bought one package of these and it's a two-step process. So we're gonna try that on the pantry. And what I've done is take, I've taken all the contact paper off that I had on there. And I'm gonna see if I can put you over here and show you, I've started prepping this window. Now I used uh, in the center here, after I took everything off the window, in the center here, I uh, used some washi tape that's about a half inch wide to section off that section. And then I got these, um, these letters from Dollar Tree. I bought two packs because I don't think this one has one of the letters that I needed um, double twice. So anyway, I got these letters from Dollar Tree and that's what I placed evenly down the window here. And then I have, um, section this off I've taped it off so that way we don't have like if I have overspray it's not going to mess up the finish on the cabinet or anything so I'm going to bring you back over here and I'm sorry to twirl you around we were working on the deck earlier and it just got too hot to finish working on the deck out there so um, let me bring you back here I'm going to scoot my chair over and I'm just going to finish prepping this with the uh, letters and stuff. And as soon as I get this window finished prepped, I, I've got the washi tape on there, but I don't have the letters on the inside and I don't have the perimeter taped off. So as soon as I get done with all of that, I will be back and we're gonna do the, the painting on the glass. Okay, I've got the window taped off over there and everything, the lettering and everything on. Um, you can't see it real good, but um, so now we're going to start the painting and this like I said This is a two-step process and the base coat has to dry for at least a half hour But it don't take too long to paint it on So um, it should go pretty easy
Okay, well, I don't know how much you saw of that because uh, my battery's kind of going dead, but like I said, it doesn't take too long. This is a uh, step one, as you can see. And um, you gotta stand far enough away that you don't get any runs or grips. Boy, this makes your finger tired spraying a spray paint can. But I want to make sure I get complete and full coverage. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get my taping back off and my letters back off once this is sprayed. never done this on glass before. This stuff says it's good for metal, wood, all kinds of stuff, but, um, but we kind of need it for this project here. So, um, you see how it works out. Hopefully it doesn't mess up too bad. Okay, I'll be back when this is dry and we'll put this, the second layer on. Okay, everybody, so I've got the first um, step one of the frosted glass paint on the doors here. Um, and uh, I have done step two on this one over here, but I haven't done step two on this one over here, so I'm just gonna do that while you're watching. Um, I'm hoping this works out because this is, um, this is something that would not be very easy to remove off this glass if I had to do it. So, um, but anyway, this uh, second step just goes on uh, real easy. like spray your keyboard out the canned air it's real cold like that it kind of feels like that and I'm wondering if it kind of freezes that first layer of stuff Okay, so anyway, um, we're going to wait 
for that coat to dry and um, then I'm going to start taking the stuff off. I'm hoping that the little letters and uh, the tape comes off real good. I do have an exacto knife just in case I kind of need to score a line to get it to come off without peeling any of the, the spray off that I just put on there. But I'm hoping and praying that this is going to work. And um, so I'll come back when it's ready for that. Okay, so I am super, super happy with the way these turned out. Um, uh, they both look great. And um, that is the exact look I was going for, the frosted glass. Um, and it saved me a lot of money to use what I already had here. I, I couldn't, I had forgotten that I even had that, but it wouldn't have been something that I would have normally used in this kind of situation. But since my contact paper did not work um, and everything, um, this was my next best uh, choice. And um, actually, I think it turned out better than the contact paper and was actually easier to do than the contact paper was. Um, now, this will not peel right off the glass. This is something that it's going to be there for a good long time, and you would have to use a chemical stripper to peel it off. So, um, so if you don't have the choice of using something as permanent as this, then the contact paper would be a good choice for you. Just make sure it's contact brand. Um, anyway, so uh, there you have it. The pantry doors are done. Um, I'm going to start working on the shelving system that goes in between these two cabinets here. Hopefully, maybe this week after work in the evenings. And because I want to wrap this project up and I can do something else then. Um, so, uh, thank you for joining me here at Life on Turkey Lane. Um, I hope that if you haven't done so already, you'll subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and um, share this video with all your friends. That will help me out uh, the most, and um, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye.